In this tutorial, we are going to be creating a complex word math problem solver application using Streamlit, Langchain, and OpenAI. So this application enables you to input a word math problem and it's going to give you a solution to the problem. All right. So first and first, we need to install some packages. So within the terminal, you type pip install Streamlit and pip install Langchain. Okay, so before we get into that, if you've not subscribed to my channel, please do well to hit the subscribe button. That really helps me a lot. Okay, so we first import Streamlit as ST and from Langchain import OpenAI and LLM match chain. So this is going to be a chain that is going to be used to create the the math word solver. Okay, so this is what we're going to solve the um, math problems. And the next one is to, so from API, we import API key. All right, so I have my API key here and I'll call it API key. So from API key, I'm going to import this API key. Okay, and we import OS as well. So the next thing is to create an environment variable from the OS. I'm going to call this the API key. Okay. And so this, this is the API key that I imported. Okay. The next one is to create an LLM and I'm going to assign that to the OpenAI. So this initializes an instance of the OpenAI class with a temperature is equal to zero. Okay, so this vary the randomness of the outcome. Okay, so for my use case, I did, I made a zero, but you can choose to do, um, change it based on your use cases. All right, the next step is to create an LLM math. So this creates an instance of the LLM math chain by wrapping the OpenAI instance and the LLM matching class also provides additional method specifically for solving math related queries. Okay, and the verbose is equal to true and shows that the breakdown or the thoughts of the chain is shown. Okay, so it gives the thought processes of whatever the um, chain is going through. Okay, so next step is to create the app so we define, we create a function called def main, and def main is um, contains the title, and so st.title, I'm going to name that complex word mass over. Okay. And this code main also ensures that the application runs. So the next thing I'm going to input a form. So I'm going to say that input form. I'm going to say query is equal to st.text input. So the user is going to enter enter your at query. Okay. So the user is going to enter mat query. And I'm going to create an execute button. Okay, so it's equal to the button. I'm going to put in the execute. Okay. Right, so let's run this initial, let's do an initial run and see how it works. Okay, so when you run the streamlet up, say the terminal you write streamlet run math solver. So that is the file name. I'm gonna hit enter. All right, so it's giving us the title. It's giving us the input form, so enter your math query. 
and it's given as the execute. Okay. Yep, we can see that here. The query, the execute button, all right? So let's move on. Okay, so the next thing we are going to create a condition. So if the execute we create so we perform the query and display the result. So if there's a button, so if there's execute, so perform. Query display results. And so I'm going to say results. Go to the LLM. What? So we've called in the uh, LLM math that's con that contains the LLM math chain. Okay, we call this in here. So that's going to be used to execute the query. So whenever the user enters the query, right, it's going to go through the chain and it's going to perform the tax that the user entered. All right, so. So we're going to write results. Let's say write the results. I'm going to do a comma. Write the results. All right. So yeah, that's it. So let's run it. Save it. Okay. Let's run it. All right, let me get terminal. Let me run it over again. Let me say screenlet. Run mat server hits enter. All right, so let's try it out. Okay, so let me say it is. Is the this very raised to the zero point zero point two nine 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 right power. All right, so because I did um, crack this up a little, okay. All right, so it's giving us the answer here as 1.29. Okay, let's see. All right, so it's giving us the answer here 1.29. So, okay, let's do a very simple one just to be sure. That is three raised to the power, let's say three. Let's execute. We all know the answer. So, all right. All right, perfect. So, yeah. Um, so, we can try it out with um, any word problem that you have, and let's see how it works. If you like this video, 
do well to subscribe and see you in the next one.